Hello, everyone. Spring GR is happy to launch its podcast. With me today is Arlene Campbell. She is the Director of Oper Programs and Operations at Spring GR, and we want to talk to you about our programming so that you can learn more, and if you're interested, sign up today. So, Arlene, happy to be here with you. Let's talk Spring sure. GR. Happy to be here, too. Great. So, let's talk about um, Spring GR. Mm -hmm. We're coming up to a 10-year mark, a mm -hmm. decade. Yes. Over a thousand entrepreneurs. I know. It's, That's it's crazy, hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. You've been, you know, pretty much close from the start, nine years. Yeah. Talk to me about Spring GR when it began. Yeah. So when it began, um, I remember the days when we first got started, and you know, it was a little challenging sometimes just to get people to come and show up because they didn't know us. Right. And they knew nothing really about what we were doing. But that first year, um, I believe there were about twenty-four people that went through the program. That's, so you mentioned something super important, trust. Yes. Over a decade, Spring yes. GR has gained the trust yes. from community mm -hmm. because of the programs. Right. You have a signature program, uh, the Small Business Accelerator. Yes. How, that is actually the first program. Yes. How did that come about? So, you know, when they first started, um, we chose a curriculum based on something we had seen before, which was called co-starters. And so we used that to get started. And as we were going and people were being a part of this, as they were getting to know, like, and trust us, um, we just began to see some things that we needed to adjust a little bit and add so people were really grasping the information. But that is what we got started with. Now, programming right now, yeah. you've got Idea Lab, which yes. is a brand new baby. Yep. It which sure I is. would love to know more how yeah. that came about. You have uh, the Small Business Accelerator, mm -hmm. Emprende, which mm -hmm. is completamente en español, <laughs> um, but it's SBA. Yes. We, and we have um, the Kitchen Incubator Program. You're right. A specialty for those foodpreneurs mm -hmm. interested in having their business in the food sector, whether it's a restaurant, food trucks, you name it. Right. And business growth. Now, I would love to know... All these programs always began with a 14-week curriculum, or has that evolved? So in the beginning, we did 12 weeks. Okay. And so as time went on, we began to notice, especially our team, we'd come together and we'd talk about how people just needed to develop a mindset for entrepreneurship and just be a little bit more aware of who are they, you know, and who else might they need on their team and what might that look like in their business. We also became very aware that people really didn't understand the concept of scaling. And so we thought maybe we needed to introduce some, you know, ideas about that to get people to understand. We also noticed that people struggle with mental health. Entrepreneurship is hard, very rewarding, but it is very hard. Um, and along with that, personal finance, because money affects everything. Yes. So those are the things that we noticed. And eventually we added what we call now our four-week pre-class. So this class actually encompasses all of those things to help entre entrepreneurs prepare for what's next. We say it's like focusing 80% on the person and only about 20% on the business, which we flip when we get into our signature programs. Okay, that's wonderful. So when we think about all these different programs, who are they designed for? Who's the target audience? Yeah, great question. So when we first started, um, it was noticed that there is a lack in the community for entrepreneurship programs for people that just wanted to get started. And a lot of the people that were a part of that group were you know, women, people of color. Um, so that's where we started our focus. Today, we are quite diverse in who we offer our programs to, mm -hmm. um, but that's, that's where we started. So um, 14 weeks, yeah. um, Idea Lab. What is the difference between Idea Lab and the Small Business Accelerator? Sure, so you know, we take down information from people as they enter our programs. And one of the things that we always noticed was that half of the people that came in, or we thought it was half, had an idea. And the other half had been doing something, maybe had made some money. And our original thought was that, hey, they learn from one another. But as it went on, we noticed things. And so this was one of the opportunities we had to tweak our curriculum a little bit. And out of that, as we checked our data, we noticed it was truly 50% had an idea and about 50% came in having made at least $1,000. So we chose then to adjust and revamp our curriculum to create something that was more from the point of view of, I have an idea. How do I get started? What do I do with it? Okay. So over the course of the years, you know, as you see participants be a part of Spring GR programming, whether it's Idea Lab Now, 
Small Business Accelerator, Kitchen Incubator Program, Emprende, Business Growth. Um, what is some of their feedback? Does it end there? Okay, I graduated. Now mm. what? Or um, is there a continuation with them? Yeah, you know, what we've noticed is we go through 14 weeks of programming. It's pretty intense. Okay. People learn a lot. They work together. They meet with their business coach. But after that, it's like there is still more to learn. You don't put this all together in 14 weeks. So our Spring GR program offers um, support for businesses after they graduate in the form of our alumni support department. Wonderful. So Arlene, what would you say, quite frankly, are the biggest barriers when a person is like, well, I signed up for the class, I took the first four weeks, or I don't know if I can complete the program. What are some of the barriers that you've seen? Um, belief. I mean, people just struggle to believe in themselves. I think that's a national epidemic, actually, you know, that people just struggle with maybe feeling like they're not good enough. But I believe that one of the best things that we do at Spring Jar is form a community and we help people see that they can do it with the right support, which we talk about our not only intellectual capital, our learning, but also our social capital, the connection to other people and what that looks like. Honestly, we had somebody come in the office yesterday and I remember this lady from when she started her business, basically from zero. And today she has a pretty decent business, but yesterday she needed the support of her community and it was there for her. And she walked out of that office yesterday with a smile on her face. And, and that goes to prove, you know, trust is built through yeah. community and being together and understanding um, barriers happen, challenges happen, life yes, happens. It sure does. I know one of the things we, we talk about at Spring GR is, well, I, you know, I don't know if I should sign up for the class because what if it's just my side gig? What if it's not a business business? Is that okay? Am I still an entrepreneur? You know, yes. <laughs> I think entrepreneurship is for people that are ready, willing, and able to just jump in and take an idea and make it into something. You know, think about it for a minute. If you had an idea and you just wanted to make a little extra money on the side and you learned how to do it, and maybe you're in a job that supports your needs, but it doesn't fulfill that passion and purpose that you desire in your life, entrepreneurship can do that for you. So I watch people all day long, every day, just develop as people and growing something as a side business is totally good because you never know what the future holds. Right. You might be able to take that later and develop it into something else too. Exactly. Among the programs, we also have the Kitchen Incubator Program, yes. which is a focus on foodpreneurs. Right. How did that come about? What is the focus? Um, yeah, so Kitchen Incubator Program came from way back in the early days when we would watch food entrepreneurs, people doing food businesses, um, people come in and they can cook. And so they want to start a business, which is great. But there are a lot of obstacles to getting into the food business because there's licenses, you know, requirements, it costs money. There's a lot of things that prevent people from, you know, getting out of their house, you know, and selling food and get, becoming legit in their business. So it was just something we observed. And over time, we began to think more about it. And then an opportunity came when we partnered with Amplify GR because in the community of 49507, they wanted a community kitchen. So Spring GR was able to partner with them to provide not only a space for food entrepreneurs to learn, but also practice in the incubator. So we are super excited to have KZU Station and also our KIP program, which is Kitchen Incubator Program, which is just like our SBA, our Small Business Accelerator, except we add a few things to it that foodpreneurs need, like licensing and training in the kitchen, serve safe, you know, all those good things. Okay, so we had mentioned the commercial kitchen space, KZU Station in the 49507 space. Now, that gives an opportunity for on foodpreneurs mm -hmm. to say, well, I've always cooked at home. How do I use a machine in a commercial kitchen space? Yeah. Like the big, you know, whether you're oh, going to yeah. be making something. I don't know what they're called. I'm not a kitchen person. <laughs> I'm not good at cooking. Um, those Or how to use a big stove right. or the ovens or the refrigerators, you know, depending on the needs. Um, the ki the KZU KIP, Kitchen Incubator Program, mm -hmm. runs you through the program, mm -hmm. through the, the training. The KZU Station Commercial Kitchen Space positions you in that 
commercial space. Absolutely. What it does is actually helps you incubate or grow your business. So okay. you learn all the pieces of, you know, the canvas, thinking about your customer and marketing numbers, you know, are you making money? And so then you're able to get into Casey Station and actually implement all these things as well as have the support of others in the community. We partner with MSU Product Center. We partner with GRCC Culinary. We partner with others too that come in and just help our entrepreneurs um, figure out what it's like to go from your home kitchen to a kitchen where you have to produce food in a larger quantity. It's wonderful. That's mm -hmm. great. So now let's talk about Spring GR's Emprende, which is Small Business Accelerator in Espanol. That's right. Yes. yes. So how did that come about? I know yeah. that prior to being housed at Spring GR, it was also a partnership. That's Can right. we talk a little bit more about that, Arlene? Yeah. So we have been partners with Carlos Sanchez for many years. Um, he began as our first um, facilitator and coach and worked as a partner alongside us providing the program, the co-starters program in Spanish. So now the program is fully under Spring GR. Okay. And we are actually using the same curriculum for both. And we are really working hard to just, you know, really elevate and enhance that program so that our Spanish-speaking entrepreneurs have all the same opportunity that we provide for others. So again, um, being able to overcome a barrier, Absolutely. the barrier of language. Right. And so providing the curriculum, which is the exact same one from the Small Business Accelerator, yeah. with some tweaks, obviously, for right. cultural competency, um, to support the Spanish language entrepreneurs. Right. right. I think that's great. And it is a 14-week program, right. um, like SBA. Um, now, you mentioned facilitators. So I think I want to end our interview okay. talking about facilitators yeah. at Spring GR for all these different programs. Yeah. So we like to say our materials and our program is built by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs. I can tell you that most of our uh, facilitators and coaches have their own businesses. They are very well acquainted with what it's like to be an entrepreneur. They have also spent considerable amount of time contributing to our curriculum and to our program and just bringing who they are to the table to help people really get, you know, what it is to be an entrepreneur. Every day I watch them pour their heart and soul into people and just really help them grow in their business. That's wonderful. So we'll be also um, having an opportunity to talk to some of our facilitators yeah. through the podcast so that um, our audience can learn more about who's behind, who are yes. the faces. Yeah. We are an extended team at Spring GR. Mm -hmm. So um, and a lot of people don't know this. Right. So it, it takes a team to be sure able to does. make this happen. Now, when it comes to all these different programs, how many times a year is this offered through Spring GR? Yeah, so we have, for the last 10 years, we have offered our program in the spring and in the fall. So we basically have two cohorts a year, but each of those cohorts can be multiple classes. So currently we're running, I believe, about four or five classes per, per semester. All right. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Arlene. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad good. our audience gets to um, know the faces behind Spring GR. Anything else that you'd like to share that I might not have asked? No. And thank you for letting me be here and share all this wonderful stuff with you. And we hope to see you register for yes. our Spring GR programming Absolutely. in the near future, right? Absolutely. Great. Yes.